My name is John Kemp and I'm at St George's University of London in London in the United Kingdom. I went into medicine because as a young boy I had to choose between history and biology and I chose biology and that seemed to consign me to a career in medicine and interestingly I went into cardiology because I was fascinated as a medical student with the ECG and I studied it so much that I gained a reputation at my medical school as a student and as a young houseman for understanding the electrocardiogram and although I tried several times to escape from cardiology I tried for example to be a surgeon Everybody used to bring me ECGs and it brought me back to cardiology, whatever I tried to do. The book is called Electrophysiological Disorders of the Heart and of course it's all about cardiac arrhythmia. It starts with sections dealing with preclinical experimental data and it goes on to fully cover the evidence base for clinical practice and for guidelines. Clinical cardiac electrophysiology is getting more and more complicated and there are so many papers and journals and manuscripts that are being published nowadays that the clinical cardiologist obviously needs some kind of synthesis of all of this information. That's the purpose of any textbook, to try and distill the content of the modern literature and bring it in a palatable form to a clinician whose time is very limited. So we have tried in this book to do our very best to state things succinctly but comprehensively so that the clinical electrophysiologists can be thoroughly educated with the modern aspects of his subject. I think that the importance of this particular textbook is its comprehensive nature. It does go not only from cell to bedside but from genes to guidelines. So it is a very comprehensive text. It's also a living text. It is being updated. The online version will be updated regularly. And this, of course, is critically important to clinicians that they're really on top of the subject at all times. So that's a, an important aspect. And in addition to the print version of the book, online there's also a wealth of supplementary information that makes uh, the context of the book very clinical so that uh, a clinician can turn to some of the material online and you can have examples for example of electrophysiological traces, electrocardiograms, investigations and so on and so forth. I have been a close friend of Sanjeev Saxena for over 20 years and uh, we have grown up in this expanding world of cardiac electrophysiology and we decided some years ago that we needed to uh, provide a really good textbook on cardiac electrophysiology and we've now worked on this project for almost a decade. In any uh, modern textbook, it's very important to get a global view of what is happening in the subject. It's no longer possible simply to write about an American perspective. It's good also to have European views, Asian views, Australian views. And so this textbook uh, takes a particular pride in having its authorship drawn from all four corners of the world, 